For practice it, self-check 5.3 while loop mystery one, we're given the following method and we need to write the output for each of the following calls. So we will screenshot this so we can write it and we'll actually screenshot the part without the answers. So we have this as our method and we do actually need this part because we have our parameters being passed in right here. So first we start with one. We have int one right here. And this is our while loop is going to run as long as our two times y, which for this first part is gonna be two times one, so that's two, is less than x. Well, x in this case is just one. So this while loop will not execute since two is actually greater than one. Now we are going to skip this while loop because we can't execute it since our condition isn't valid. And then we are just going to print this out. So we're printing out our y, which we have stored as one. And then we are printing out our z, which we have stored as zero. So we have one and zero with a space in the middle. So that's where we get this answer from right there. Next, we are going to pass in a six as a parameter. So this is going to be six and our while loop is going to be two, which is less than or equal to six. So this will run because two is less than or equal to six. Now our while loop or in our while loop, we have y is equal to y times two. Our y is currently one. So we have one times two and our while or y, sorry, is equal to two. And then we have z plus plus. So z is equal to one. Next, we keep going through our while loop because our our condition for this part is still less than six. The next, we are multiplying y, which is now two. So two times two is four. We're gonna have four is less than or equal to six. And in here, our y is going to equal four. And then our z is going to now equal two. We cannot run this again. Otherwise, we will have um, eight because we'll have four times two, which is eight, and that is not less than or equal to six. So we cannot run this. That means that we are going to be left with y is equal to four right here, a space, and then z is equal to two right there. So that'll give us that answer. Next, we're passed in a 19. And we can write this in blue and then we will change this six right here to be 19. Now we can run this. And we won't redo this because it's going to be exactly the same for each iteration of this loop. And for this part, we now have y is equal to eight and z is equal to three. And then we will run this again. Eight times two is 16. So we have 16 less than or equal to 19, which is true. So we're going to have y is now equal to 16 and then z is equal to four. That's where we get 16 and four from. Next, we are being passed in a 39. And for this, we have y times two, our previous y is 16. So we have 32 less than or equal to 39. And that means our y is going to be 32 and our z is gonna be five. So, That'll give us this answer here, 32 and five. Next and lastly, we are being passed in the 74. We'll use green for that. And our y, our previous y is 32. So we have to multiply this by two for this part in our while loop. And we are gonna get 64 has to be less than or equal to 74. Well, we know if, this mul if we multiply 64 by two, we're gonna have 128, which is greater than 74. So this is gonna be the last iteration of our loop. We're gonna have y is equal to 64, and z plus plus from here is going to give us six. That's where we get um, y is equal to 64 right here, and z is equal to six, because that's how we print it out. And then if we submit this, we have passed all five of the tests.